Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Easily Way to Learn Energy Analysis. Today I'm going to explain how you can add a HVAC system and also how you can add a threshold and also how you can uh, use uh, energy, uh, energy Plus engine uh, to get result from uh, thermal comfort analysis in uh, Honeybee and Ladybug uh, software. Let's go. There's a new uh, version of Ladybug uh, tools available on for Drino and you can uh, download it, install it. It's completely easy. Uh, I will make a, um, another tutorials uh, for both thermal and visual comfort uh, with the new version of the Ladybug and uh, you can have access to them in, in next months. But now I just uh, working on uh, Honeybee and Ladybug legacy. Please be careful; you cannot mix them at, at this, uh, you know, time. So uh, please be careful about that. Again, uh, you cannot, for example, mix Honeybee legacy with the new, uh, you know, Honeybee version or Ladybug version. So um, the, because some of you send a message, send a message to me and told me they don't have, you know. Uh, some component and they cannot find them because it's not matched to things that I uh, I am explaining now. Let's go to tab number eight and choose uh, uh, Honeybee Set Energy Plus Zone Threshold. Uh, I'm uh, this let me know to explain. Uh, this part of this component. HP zone this means that just connect uh, the you know our HP zones to our HP zone uh, for this component. What's the um, cooling set point and heating set point? Um, set point and heating set point show uh, thermal comfort uh, temperature. And uh, this number can change uh, from region to region. It's completely the climate that you are um, planning to uh, analyze thermal comfort or um, visual comfort for them. Uh, what's the meaning of cooling setback and heating setback? It's completely dependent on the projects. For example, if you are working on office, uh, uh, office building and um, you know that the employers uh, work there from 8 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. it means between 5 p.m. to uh, 8 a.m. Uh, the building mostly is uh, empty so it means it's so difficult for HVAC system to come back on ideal cooling set point and you know uh, heating set point uh, let me know to show it uh, with uh, an example. For example, uh, for cooling uh, um, set point, I use the number 27, for example. For You can find this number uh, according to the thermal comfort temperature for each reason, uh, region. Uh, but now I just uh, show you as example. For example, it's 20, for example, 1 for heating set point. This number shows if uh, uh, R zones, the temperature of the R zones, uh, go up more than this number, the HVAC system start cooling the space. And this number called cooling set point. And if, uh, and also this number shows if our space, um, you know, come uh, down of this number, it, the HVAC system start heating the space, and it number this number called heating set point. About the cooling set point and you know cool, uh, cooling set back and heating set back, you can imagine you are working on an office, an office, and uh, you are uh, just working between, um, for example, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it means between 5 p.m. and uh, 7 a.m. the space is uh, 
empty and um, and so um, because of schedules and other things maybe a track system uh, came down uh, came, uh, come down uh, for example uh, of this number or uh, go up uh, this uh, number so it means when um, HVAC system start to came back and uh, to came back, you know, for example, to 27 or 25, 21, according to the, you know, our schedules, um, uh, at, uh, you know, 7 uh, a.m., it for it, it's completely difficult for HVAC system uh, to, you know, uh, start cooling or, um, or heating the, you know, the space. Um, exactly at the 7 uh, a.m. So it means uh, we need to, you know, uh, to um, define cooling setback uh, it, uh, for the R system or heating setback for our system uh, in order to control the temperature of the zones during a uh, uh, time that uh, employer aren't uh, in the space and uh, the space is empty. Uh, building about cooling uh, setback and heating setback. You can imagine uh, uh, you are working on office building, uh, an office building um, between 7 a.m. Uh, to 5 p.m. It means between uh, 5 p.m. and 7 a.m. all of employee um, are off and they are go to uh, they go uh, at home and because they are need to sleep and other things. It means the space and the Zoom are empty. Um, if uh, you know the HVAC system of the this building wants to start working just at 7 a.m. It for uh, it is so difficult for uh, it to handle and to receive the ter to uh, thermal comfort um, temperature. That, for example, for this example, it's 27 or 25. Is the 21 is completely depend on your region uh, and our climate that you are uh, planning to analyze thermal comfort for the building. So it means um, we need to define cooling setback and cooling and heating setback and uh, you can you know use this number especially for official uh, office building commercial building um, because it helps the track system to control the weather um, and it's it can be, uh, you know, it can reduce the and the, the energy and uh, save the energy in our building because if uh, uh, the HVAC system just working, just start working at 7 p.m., it put pressure on the our HVAC system and it's me. It means the our HVAC system uh, need always to maintain uh, to maintain and we need uh, always to, you know. Um, uh, higher the maintenance uh, to fix our uh, HVAC system, uh, but uh, with this technique we can, you know, prevent extra uh, bills of our uh, HVAC system. Um, you can also add the maximum and minimum humidity. Uh, humidity uh, to uh, uh, this component and also outdoor air uh, requirement um, especially when if you are planning to use a national ventilation to um, uh, thermal comfort analysis and also you need to uh, you need to add you know daylight um, you know set point for example I'm gonna I'm gonna to add number 350 it's as a you know daylight threshold um, you know uh, and also you can uh, define a different sensor around the space or uh, zooms that you are uh, planning to um, uh, get to, uh, thermal comfort result fr uh, from it or them uh, and also you can uh, define the types of you know daylight it's the you know all of uh, daylight system is dim or not it completely depends on your project. Uh, for example, for daylight center uh, point, you can add different um, uh, 
point around the space and just uh, move um, a little bit for example one um, um, for example one meter uh, move it from the floor and then add as a you know uh, daylight stand po uh, center point to the disc component uh, for nighting, it's uh, okay for uh, energy plus zoom thresholds and let's go for um, define HVAC system. Please go to tab number 9 and choose Honeybee assign HVAC system and add HV zone to HV zone and go to the HVAC uh, systems and please uh, go to tab number 9 and pick up Honeybee HVAC system leads. Uh, as you can see is number uh, from number number one to number seven you can uh, you know see different types of the uh, uh, HVAC system as you know we have uh, three types three uh, you know types of HVAC system one is air all air and two is um, what all water and uh, the second and the third one is a mix of air and or water and uh, so each of them uh, also each of them divide uh, to different parts different types and you can uh, see some of them in uh, here and you can you know uh, choose each one that you want but in tutorial I prefer to use uh, IDRA loads uh, and I'm not gonna to use one of uh, the HVAC system um, but uh, in the end of the tutorial, I'm planning to choose um, one of them and two of them and compare within the, uh, you know, compare the result between them to show you uh, how the thermal comfort analysis works. Please uh, choose uh, ideal A rolled and just to just connect it to the HVAC system. If you want to add uh, a details, a uh, heat design or cooling uh, design, please go tab number nine and pick up air details. Again, go to the tab number nine and choose uh, cooling system. Go to the tab number three and choose HVAC system. Since uh, mm, I'm using the ideal air load, there is no important to use them. But if you um, but if you uh, pick one of them, you need uh, to add them. Uh, and you how you can find the list number? Uh, you can find this number. Uh, uh, in uh, the catalog and you know the brochure of uh, the HVAC system that you are using it uh, as the HVAC system in your building uh, I can uh, make a group from them and also you can um, you know ask the um, your um, you know um, um, mechanical engineering uh, in uh, your team to add the number that part but it's easy you can you know find the number according to the you know uh, HVAC system that you are using you can find it it's uh, it's not important and now for us but uh, if you want to choose uh, one of uh, uh, this uh, HVAC system from number one to number seven you need to add uh, the system uh, as you can see, uh, the, um, this component, it's a Honeybee Assign HVAC system, show, uh, you know, uh, became uh, orange. Uh, it's okay, as you can, if you, you know, just uh, keep, uh, uh, just click on uh, uh, this um, icon, you can uh, see uh, it's told you, um, it's told you bath is not conditioned system will not be added this soon uh, as you know uh, I can show you in that part I add uh, please let me know it's in the bath oh. it's the bath is number four and as you can see uh, I uh, told to the system I'm not gonna to add a HVAC system or uh, you know analyze uh, you know or make a condition for um, you know a bath. 
It means uh, my, uh, the best uh, room in this uh, project, there is no need to, uh, you know, to have the HVAC system. Because of that, I use the false uh, for that. And this component uh, just warned me the bus will not add to the system, to the this zone, uh, for, to the this system for HVAC system because I told uh, to the you know honeybee uh, it's not uh, uh, you know I'm not gonna use of HVAC system to uh, you know uh, for uh, this project so it's uh, it's okay you can keep it it's not important to be in you know orange but if you wanted to add the bass you need to change uh, this fault to true and uh, then the problem will uh, solve and uh, the color of the this component became gray uh, if you want to i should mention that in that part you can add uh, um, uh, national ventilation and also national airflow to our thermal content analysis. I told you before, but uh, if you wanted to add, you can um, use uh, tab number eight and use this component. But today, I'm not gonna to show you how you can add um, national ventilation and so and also national light to our thermal comfort analysis. Because I'm um, planning to show you a simple uh, thermal comfort analysis now, and um, when uh, you know in next tutorials, I try to add uh, both of them to the thermal comfort analysis with the new uh, ladybug and honeybee tools. And so for now, we uh, can just put it here and uh, also. Um, yeah, I think I told about this part to you, but for, uh, you know, extra notification and those extra things, uh, you need to ask your, uh, ask uh, to uh, your mechanical engineering to help, uh, help you to add this number. Um, so because it's a little bit, maybe sometimes it's confusing for architecture. But I strongly uh, suggest you to know about uh, all of them um, because especially for thermal comfort is completely required to know about each of them. In uh, next tutorial, I uh, next tutorials I try to um, pick I try um, to pick some of them and explain about the whole system. But uh, today I just kind of to show you the ideal. Um, you know, uh, the HVAC system and show you, uh, you know, a simple thermal content analysis. Let's go for energy plus and the last part of our uh, tutorials. Let's go to tab number, uh, tab number 10 and pick up honeybee run energy simulation. There's a two type, uh, you know, engines. Uh, today I'm gonna use Energy Plus, but uh, for next tutorial, as uh, I, uh, you know, I use the uh, Open Studio engine as well. So please let's go for uh, Energy Plus. Uh, about uh, the north, I. Um, um, I explained about how you can, you know, change the north in the last tutorials and you can come back on my YouTube channel and find how you can change the north if you are not, uh, the, the, you know, you, um, if you want to change the uh, y-axis um, as a north, uh, you know, uh, as a north uh, of your project. Uh, let's go for EPW5, uh, EVW file, uh, file. Uh, you can find a different way that uh, you can gain, uh, you know, EPW file from my uh, uh, 
uh, previous uh, tutorials but for today I just use this uh, component just tiger through the toggle and you can see the I'm gonna use the um, this weather data just uh, copy link to the kill, uh, clipboard and then and then just add it so it's correct we add uh, the epw file please let me know to make a little bit smaller so uh, let's go for analysis period 